Hello everyone, let us learn about lone pair electrons and bond pair electrons. Let us know what is lone pair, of, uh, lone pair electrons and what is bond pair electrons. Okay, let us take a molecule nitrogen uh, of nitrogen that is NH3 which is called ammonia. Okay, first let us start with this. In order to know the lone pair and bond pair of electrons, first of all, we have to know the atomic number of the elements of the central atom. Okay, this is your central atom, single and more electronegative in nature. So, this is central atom. Okay, so nitrogen. Then you have to know the atomic number of nitrogen. So, atomic number of nitrogen is how, what is the atomic number? That is 7. What is the valence electrons of nitrogen? What is the valence electrons of nitrogen? The valence electrons of nitrogen is 5. Okay. So, it is 5 valence electrons. Okay. So, just now draw your um, valence electrons in the form of dots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, 5. What? Do, how many surrounding atoms are here? 3. So, let us write 3. Okay. How many electrons are there in uh, hydrogen? Only 1 electrons. So, how many hydrogens are here? 1. How many hydrogens are here? One. Okay. So hydrogen will always try to fulfill the duplet means with two electrons. So it will shear from the nitrogen. It will take from the nitrogen. Okay. To fulfill the. And so this. In this way. Hydrogen has taken one electrons from the nitrogen. Hydrogen has taken one electrons from the nitrogen. Hydrogen has taken one electrons from the nitrogen. Now this nitrogen having how many electrons let us see. So actually it has its own 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will try to attain the octet rule by taking this electrons 5, 6, 7, 8. So since hydrogen has taken 1 electrons from nitrogen, nitrogen also will try to take 1 electron. So both nitrogen and hydrogen share 1, 1 electron each. Share 1, 1 electron each. Okay, here also the same thing and the nitrogen will try to take 1, 1 each electron from nitrogen. So, now it has fulfilled the octet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 electrons now totally fulfill the octet. Now, let us draw it through bonds. See, it has formed one bond. It has formed another bond because in a single bond there are 2 electrons. So, one bond another bond another bond but this electrons is not involved in bonding so it this those electrons which are not involved in bonding is called lone pair okay so this is your lone pair uh, two electrons makes a pair so how many lone pairs so one lone pair of electrons are present and how many bond pairs so one bond pair means the shared pair of electron it is one two three so it has three bond pair okay so you can, uh, if you want to make it uh, more faster, you can just take the valence electron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many surrounding? Okay, so uh, hydrogen atom is monovalent. So it is 1, 1, just give to nitrogen 1, hydrogen, just give to hydrogen 1, 1 each. Make a bond, single bond. Then what is remaining? One lone pair is remaining. Why it is lone pair? Because it is not involved in bonding. Uh, to form bond or it is not involved in sharing of the electrons so this electrons is called your lone pair of electrons okay so in this way you can take the help of uh, we will take the uh, h2o molecule here so h2o the central atom is what oxygen oxygen has is the atom has atomic number of how much oxygen has atomic number eight so electronic configuration is how much two dot six what is the valence electron six so one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many surrounding? That is 2. So, uh, 1, 2. Hydrogen will fulfill the duplet rule by taking by sharing with the 1 electrons from the oxygen. Again, this oxygen will try to take 1, 1 electrons from hydrogen so that it fulfill the octet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 electrons. Now, let us draw in the form of bonds. So this and this makes a bond. Oxygen and the hydrogen makes bond. These two electrons are left out and these are not involved in bonding. So these two are called your lone pair of electron. Okay. Lone pairs of electron. 
So, those electrons which are not involved in bonding, mm, they are called lone pair of electrons. Now, see nitrogen belonging to group, okay, nitrogen belonging to group 15 has one lone pair, 16, two lone pair, 17 will be three lone pair, okay. So, generally halogen group, any compound of the halides, it forms Cl or Br acts as three lone pair, okay. So, what is lone pair and bond pair? We get to know from here that um, lone pair are those electrons which are not, okay, lone pair are those electrons which are not involved in bonding. So, this is called lone pair and those which are involved in bonding are called bond pair of electrons or shared pair of electrons, okay. So, in order to know the lone pair and bond pair, first of all, you have to know the electronic, uh, first of all, you have to know the atomic number and the valence electrons because we are going to deal with the valence electrons for bond formation, okay.